Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to solve a problem on CMOS inverter and identify the noise margin. Let's understand the question. For a CMOS inverter, my VDD is given as 3.3 volts. My threshold voltage of NMOS transistor is 0.6 volts. My threshold voltage for PMOS transistor is equal to minus 0.7 volts. Kn equal to 200 microampere by volt square and Kp equal to 80 microampere by volt square and I have to calculate the noise margin. For noise margin, what we will need is VIL, VOL, VOH and VIH and then we can find a low level noise margin and the high level noise margin. Now for a CMOS inverter, we know that we get a perfect zero, that means my VOL is equal to zero. And we also know that we get a perfect output high, which is nothing but VDD. So my VOH is equal to VDD. So I've already found out VOL and VOH. If you see the question properly, you will come to know that KR, which is equal to KN by KP is equal to 2.5. And my VTN is also not equal to mod of VTP. That means it is not a symmetric inverter. So this is the first understanding which we get from the question. Now let's get started. We know VOL, we know VOH. Now let's find VIL. VIL, the equation is there on the left hand side. Let's just substitute everything equal to twice into VO, which is an unknown parameter for us because this VO is nothing but output voltage at that specific value of VIL. So we'll keep this as VO only right now. VTP is minus 0.7 minus VDD which is 3.3 plus KR is nothing but 2.5 and VTN is nothing but 0.6 so 2.5 into 0.6 is what we will do straight away KR we have already found out as 2.5 and VTN is already given as 0.6 volts that is nothing but 1.5 upon 1 plus KR which is nothing but 1 plus 2.5 now we'll substitute this equation 2 substituting equation 2 in equation B. Now a question might come where did we find this equation B from? We have already done this in the previous clip. Equation B is nothing but I have just equated through KCL the value of currents when I'm finding my VIL we have already seen that my NMOS transistor operates in saturation region and my PMOS transistor operated in linear region and I have just written the value of ID sat equal to ID linear. Now we need to substitute the above equation 2 VIL in equation B where my V in is equal to VIL. Once we do that, okay, let's substitute, then I'll tell you what is the next step. Just let's rewrite this equation 2.5 into 0.57 V out minus 0.71 minus 0.6. This is whole square equal to twice into 0.57 V out minus 0.71 minus 3.3 plus 0.7 this entire thing into V out minus 3.3 minus V out minus 3.3 the whole square. So this is my equation 3 where I have done nothing but substituted equation 2 in equation B and rearranged the terms. This will give me a second order polynomial in V out in terms of V out. Let's write that equation 0.66 V out square plus 0.05 V out minus 6.65 equal to 0. Now this will give me two roots out of which one is physically correct solution for V out that is V out will be greater than 0. And the other is a wrong value and can be discarded. So on solving that, we will get V out equal to 3.14 volts. So now we can easily find out our VIL. If we found out V out for that corresponding value of VIL, we have to substitute equation 4 in equation number 2. Substitute equation 4 in equation 2 just see this this is in VL in terms of V out and here we'll put V out is equal to 3.14 volts which will give me VIL equal to 0.57 into 3.14 minus 
point seven one equal to one point zero eight volts. So this gives me the value of VIL. Let's quickly do it similarly for VIH as well. 